What's up, YouTube and Statue Collectors? It's your boy, H-Stats, here today with another reviewing. Um, like I said before, this is going to be a journey. The last uh, video that I uh, posted um, that you guys commented on, I said that uh, you're going to be following me for some time because um, <clears throat> this uh, proximity that I'm going to review today is a part of a huge, I mean, the mother of dioramas. And I decided to make these videos more like a journey. So as they come in, I will review them. Um, and I think when I get the first uh, diorama piece next year, probably early or mid next year, I will reveal that diorama. Um, <clears throat> also, um, just keep in mind that the last piece is scheduled to come uh, 2022. So this is gonna be a while, but I'm really excited. Um, let's get the reviewing for this uh, uh, one temp scale. All right, here it is. This one came directly from uh, Iron Studios. Let's just get that open. Okay. All right. Cool box. Let's get this out the box. And here she is. The stink. Give you guys a little rotation of the uh, box art. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, it's a nice uh, box package. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, the character Mystique, um, she first appeared in um, Miss Marvel number 16 that came out in 1978. Um, the character basically is a shape shifter. And um, we know she's the mother of the famous Nightcrawler. And uh, she also adopted Rogue from the uh, X-Men team. Um, so let's see what she looks like. Let's get her out of this box. Okay. And I hope this came packaged well. Okay. All right, cool. That's easy. <laughs> All right, so this looks like what is this? This looks like a hmm. This looks like a hand of saber tooth, doesn't it? As you guys can see. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little cold. Um. Oh, she looks great. Um, I'm not great with uh, naming colors. I mean. This, she looks like a, her usual dark um, navy blue color. Uh, you can see her yellow eyes. And very, very, very a beauty. I like the way they insinuated her beauty with the blue. Of course, we don't have blue women walking around, but um, she's very good looking. <laughs> As you guys can see. And don't worry, I'll do my usual close-ups. Let's just sit her here for now. Uh, okay. Wow, look at this. She's a badass. The other hand, she's holding uh, Uzi, and that's pretty hardcore. Wow. Okay, let's uh, check out the base. I guess we could put this to the side. Looks like I have all the pieces out. Oh, nope. These pieces are so small, usually I forget that. Okay, and this is her other hand. All right, put that down for now. I think that's it. <clears throat> Let's check out her face. Okay. Now, just looking at this base, I mean, it's a really cool base. Um, I can tell there's been some kind of wreckage. Um, the paint is extraordinary. Um, it's very detailed. Um, we can see that something happened that she's a part of in the story. Um, you can even see the, the chipping, the cracking of the woods. I mean, it's just really detailed. You see some like pipes sticking out of the, uh, the base. Um, give you guys a look. 
books all over the place. It's really cool. Check it out. <clears throat> yeah, so, and then these don't come numbered, but um, you'll just see uh, BDS R Scale 110, which is pretty neat. <clears throat> okay, let's get her on this base. And I think a right foot, there's a insert right at the uh, base of this wreckage right here. Let's just get her in here. Okay. All right. Okay. That was pretty easy. And, hmm. Let's get her with the Uzi. Oh, wait. There we go. And let's see what she looks like with this saber tooth arm. I guess she must have, I don't know if she, I guess the scene, I don't know the history yet of this scene, why she would be displaying um, a saber tooth arm. Maybe she was trying to trick the uh, the X-Men by portraying saber tooth for whatever reason in this uh, diorama story, but the arm looks pretty good. I mean, I like it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we just rotate this around a little for you guys. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I think, you know, this is pretty, she has like skulls for her belt going around her waist, which is pretty neat. Um, I think it's well done. You can actually, I'll, I'll show you guys how the claws are actually, you know, well put together, like Sabretooth. I mean, I think, you know, Iron Studios did a good job with this one. <clears throat> um, let's see what her other hand looks like. Um, this is what I... More than likely, I'll be, I will be displaying with the, uh, the saber tooth arm. I just like the transformation. Maybe she's about to morph into saber tooth to throw some other X Men off. Okay, this one is not. This is a little tricky. Let's see if we can get her in here. There we go. All right. So. <clears throat> As you can see, this is um, my uh, my second uh, proximity piece with that diorama. There's going to, I think there's a total of probably 15 of them. And I noticed um, they did not include Nightcrawler, which is kind of, I don't know why. But uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get a surprise coming up. But let me, let me know what you guys think. <clears throat> if you like the reviewing today, um, I think this is one of the, I mean, what I like about this diorama, um, that's going to be a, a collaboration of, of many characters, it's like, in my opinion, I feel like, well, once I get all the characters with the other uh, three masterpieces, I probably won't need to get a maybe a larger scale Mystique or, you know, Professor X or all the other pieces that's coming with it. I think this will tell the whole story, and I'm happy with that. So if you guys like... The, uh, my review today just you know give me a comment <clears throat> subscribe let me know what you guys think this is going to be a journey um so hopefully i can get your attention and continue to entertain you and let's keep the passion going i mean i've been doing this for some time i love statue collecting and if you love what i do show me some love it's your boy h stat one